For the young women of Rombek, education is a lifeline. It offers them a chance to escape the cycle of violence in South Sudan and reach their full potential. However, they struggle to learn amidst ongoing conflict and the dire economic situation. These children were not in the school in these numbers because of revenge killings. Some people used to come from outside trying to kill them. So we talked to UN office here and under civilian protection, they were fenced up. Thank you so much for that. The UN mission in South Sudan is also rebuilding a damaged dormitory at the school so that girls have somewhere safe to stay and study. For us girls, when we stay at home, we have a lot of works to do at home. And if we are being guided in the school, maybe we have some place to stay in school. We are being encouraged to read more because when we go home, we don't actually read more at home. The mission is also supporting efforts to bring news to the people of Rumbek by providing solar panels for a local radio station so it can broadcast messages of peace. About 80% of the population in this region earns a living by raising cattle, which are a source of food for their families and a symbol of wealth and prestige. However, the scarce water and grazing resources have led to some of the bloodiest conflict in the country. The problem here is actually the intercommunal uh, tensions and violence that have claimed the lives of many people. It's not so much anything to do with the political violence, it's more uh, a continuation of revenge killings, uh, uh, attacks around cattle. And one of the things that we're trying to put a lot of emphasis on is the reconciliation and trying to build the relationship between those, those groups so that we take away the reason for fighting and so that people can get on then and, and, and start farming or tending their livestock. Many people in Rombek own guns to protect their families and livestock. The proliferation of weapons among civilians, though, has led to many deaths, so the government is undertaking what it calls a voluntary disarmament process. The disarmament process is actually great. We are getting our people returning back to their villages and to continue with their normal life. A normal and peaceful life is something all the women of Rumbek would welcome as they work towards a better future for themselves and South Sudan.